G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So what I want to do is have a look at DeFi because I get the feeling like a lot of people have gone to sleep on DeFi because it hasn't kind of been, you know, the it thing. A lot of people probably think it was a bubble and it popped and it's, you know, gone away and it won't be, you know, kind of never be seen again. Let's have a look here. There is now $13.86 billion locked up in DeFi. Now, what we need to remember is that's only $13 billion out of a 600 and something billion dollar total market cap for uh, cryptocurrencies in general. So this is still well in its infancy. And, you know, this is just my personal opinion, not financial advice, but I think this market is going to absolutely skyrocket in the future when the real altcoin season comes and at the end of the bull cycle i think the prices for some of these now not all of them i'm not saying every DeFi coin is good and i'm not saying saying any of them have uh well that's not true i do think a couple have some real long-term value but you know that's yet to be seen you know they they haven't been around to really stand the test of time although a couple of them have been around through the bear market so all i'm saying is 13.86 billion i could see this being well over 100 into a couple of 100 billion uh, at the peak of the next cycle now again just my personal opinion but again we can see that so this is just in the last year so back in january God, what was that? It was like maybe a billion dollars or so. Well, they're 658 million, not even a billion. And look, we can see it had that big run up here. And then everyone kind of thought, you know, around September that basically DeFi had gone to sleep because the coins individually weren't doing that well. But we can see it just keeps ticking up, ticking up, ticking up. And I expect this to continue well into next year. Now, I'm going to have a look at some of the projects that I really like. But this is, again, DeFi Pulse. I really like this site. Gives you a good indication of how things are doing. Like Synthetics has been on an absolute tear, 34%. That may be different by the time you see this video. But this graph just generally shows you around about sort of, you know, June is when things really started to take off in DeFi. And I do believe this is the future of money. The future of uh, how finances will be done. Centralized finances are going to jump on the back of DeFi uh, and use it for liquidity and all the rest of it. And you can just see this uh, growth here. Uh, just continues to grow and grow. And as I said, I really do think this will move into the hundred, if not hundreds of billions of dollars by the time we get to the cycle peak. And if hundreds of billions of dollars start to pour into this, Imagine what the prices are going to do to some of these. Now, right, let's go and have a look. Here's the DeFi cap at the moment. And again, so we've got a $656 billion market cap and we have $13 billion, So that's less than here inside DeFi at the moment. There is hundreds of billions of dollars that can still move into it. And we've still most likely got hundreds of billions, if not maybe a trillion or two dollars that are still going to come into the market, if not maybe trillions of dollars coming into the market. Now, this may not be next week. It may not even be in the next bull cycle. We might, you know, just get one trillion, two trillion dollars, something like that in the total market cap. But in the future... I do believe there's going to be trillions of dollars. Now, we can go down here. If there's trillions of dollars locked up in DeFi, what do you think that does to the price of Chainlink? It's 12 bucks at the moment. Now, again, could Chainlink fail? Of course it could. Anything could fail. I don't think it will. I think it's going to be around. Synthetics Network, it's at $8. Imagine what trillions of dollars into the system will do. Now, I'm not saying trillions will go into Synthetics Networks alone possibly in the future, but if trillions of dollars come into the market, some of that, which will likely be hundreds of billions of dollars, will likely move its way into things like this. So again, these prices now, they, you know, in my personal opinion, not financial advice, are going to absolutely skyrocket. And look, we'll have a look at some of the things that I've invested in uh, and I'm a fan of. Again, you work out for yourself what you like and do your own research, but this is what I've got into. So number one, Chainlink. Now I was lucky, I got into Chainlink sort of 
back around here not too long after this happened so I really did get some uh, cheap chain link I think around two three dollars uh, was the price I got most of my chain link I have still bought some along the way and look I did unfortunately sort of buy some I think around about here I think it was less actually around sort of eleven dollars I think I bought some chain link so I'm sitting about even with the chain link that I bought again so around about here but most of my chain link was bought back here uh, so chain links doing really well now again this was that big kind of pop everyone will talk about the bubble pop but we can see it fell down and it's just slowly but surely still going up now this is against the dollar so against the dollar you know most people are still doing fine uh, it's against Bitcoin where we really sort of started to fall off here Bitcoin's been going up a lot more so it would have been the better you know investment in the long run but again I'm a long-term investor I believe in Chainlink I think it's got real-world utility and will continue to uh, be used into the future so this just to me looks like an upward trend against the dollar value and again there's going to be times I mean here Chainlink smashed Bitcoin absolutely smashed Bitcoin as did a lot of the other DeFi projects and this will happen again in my personal opinion and it's just if you know you know when it's kind of overstretched a little bit and say you know it doesn't have to be right at the top but say somewhere somewhere down down around about here you go right yeah I'm jumping out of chain link not completely or maybe completely and put it into Bitcoin then this just rises even higher and you don't suffer all these lows now that's more the traders good luck to you if you're a trader I'm an investor but I do do some swing trades and when we get into next year and all the rest of it I will start to take some profits what I do with those profits I'm not exactly sure of whether I put it into Bitcoin and kind of chop and change try to chop and change between things for a while or if I just completely cash out and then have that cash on the side till again you know the next bear market uh, I know I'll be investing some into property and things like that so again I, I don't have an exact plan for what I'm going to do uh, with the profits but I can tell you now I will be taking profits there's no doubt about it I'll be selling nearly half of all my altcoins except for Bitcoin I won't sell half my Bitcoin I think I might sell sort of 25 to 30 uh, percent of my Bitcoin but half of all altcoins uh, including Ethereum uh, I will be selling uh, and taking those profits and you know again hoping to reinvest uh, you know at the next bear cycle and we'll see if some of the coins have lasted some of them will be dead and will just simply die off a natural death so I won't be looking to put money back into them but the ones that are still around and still going yes absolutely so Chainlink will be one of them we'll have to wait and see I mean Chainlink kept moving up even through the bear market so they did pretty well so that's one of my picks and probably my number one pick really uh, for altcoins outside of Ethereum Synthetics Network this is my number two coin uh, outside of Chainlink I think it has real world utility uh, hopefully it's decentralized enough and you know no one sort of comes after it and looks to shut it down you know time will tell but this uh, did really well and you know this this coin has probably been I think my second best performer overall but you know my returns have been uh, diminished a little bit because again I did buy kind of up around here not quite at the top I think more down around about here uh, yeah under six dollars I think it was five dollars seventy something like that I was buying at uh, and I bought a little bit more on the way down but again same thing I bought most of mine down here I think I was literally picking it up for about Oh, I think I got some at 80 cents or something like that it was under a dollar uh, and then again a dollar cost average sort of along here so most of my uh, most of my synthetics I bought for just under a dollar or just over a dollar sort of let's say roughly 80 cents through to about a dollar 20 a dollar 50 is where I got most of my synthetics I only wish I had bought more I was somewhat skeptical about synthetics didn't know enough about it uh, and the price just jumped really quick uh, and then I missed that opportunity but again I still did buy more along here and unfortunately I bought pretty close to the top as well and then watched it uh, lose some value but I am super bullish on synthetics I really do think that uh, it is the future of you know synthetic assets I think uh, it will get institutional adoption because no one owns it uh, I think you know they will get on there but we'll have to wait and see I did note that Tika Tawari put this out as one of his top five coins I think uh, to a million dollars you know the thing that he does 
in 2021 and he said uh, anything under seven dollars was a good buy well it's over seven dollars now and he believed it could go to two thousand one hundred dollars per coin now <laughs> I don't know about that I think that's a big call and look he, he could be right and maybe it goes higher I'm thinking more it's probably going to go to a hundred or two hundred dollars a coin now again that may be a bit ambitious really look fifty dollars a coin I'll be pretty happy considering I got in at roughly about a dollar you know that's a not quite a 50x because again some was over a dollar but it'll be around about there and I'll be pretty stoked with that so if it goes above you know 100 200 maybe into the thousands of dollars a coin uh, like Tika Tawari said uh, and goes to 2100 then I will be absolutely cheering and um, for me that would be life-changing wealth you know two thousand dollars you know per coin uh, and I was picking them up for less than a dollar uh, interesting times uh, and I really like their uh, their exchange as well uh, you know it needs to the exchange is still not on the L2 you know the minting and everything is really really cheap but the exchange last time I used it anyway uh, the fees are still uh, in line with regular ETH prices which aren't too bad at the moment you know there's 60 70 guay or something but they need to be down in the single digits so yeah synthetics super bullish on that Aave, right now this is Aave the new coin uh, so you know there's not a lot of price history here uh, but again basically it sort of started here around $56 and now we're sitting around you know nearly $80 uh, I got into the Aave old uh, and picked uh, a lot of it up quite cheap well not a lot of it a lot to me um, a lot of other people would say that's basically you know chump change and all the rest of it but Aave has been my best performer uh, you know my Aave uh, yeah it, it's outperformed anything by an absolute country mile but in saying that I haven't bought a lot of Aave since I originally got in and I originally got in again not long after the March crash so I picked it up at a pretty good price uh, and Aave again it's got financial regulation behind it over in the UK uh, I do think again you know institutions are going to get into this and when they do and again if hundreds of billions of dollars start to drop into these things the price is going to absolutely skyrocket and be completely and utterly off its head you know at the moment it's 60 bucks uh, and it's got a market cap of there we go 959 million uh, again imagine now this starts to go up by even more you know what I mean more hundreds of billions of dollars you know start to drop in so that's 959 million uh, you know again what happens when billions and billions of dollars start to pour into these things that will be very interesting All right Uniswap now I wasn't one of the smart ones uh, that got in and got it for free uh, I did buy some and look I haven't done well unfortunately I bought it at about five dollars so around about here I can't get it to sit on five dollars but I bought it around about five dollars and unfortunately it's tapered off but this to me this looks like an accumulation phase this is just accumulation a dip down and then it just it's ranging in between here so I suspect that you know I think you know in the future my five dollars will be just fine and again Uniswap is quite big it is you know it's a big liquid kind of thing and in the future I think uh, the adoption you know will continue uh, sushi swaps doing pretty well though uh, and that has been picked up by Yearn Finance but I haven't got into sushi swap just because of the governance issues they had earlier it's just put me off and I can't yeah convince myself to get on board Uniswap is where I'm at so I think this could do really well but I'm not as sure about Uniswap uh, as I am again synthetics chain link and Aave but none of that is financial advice it's simply my personal opinion All right Ren you know I've looked into Ren and it's basically a conduit between Bitcoin and other chains it's a way to put Bitcoin onto ethereum a way to put Bitcoin onto you know you could do it onto cosmos onto polka dot and all this other stuff so I think Ren has a really really bright future now price wise it hasn't done all that good but I did accumulate and I've got some at some pretty good prices and so now I'm just waiting to see what happens you know the Ren virtual machine whether it really starts to take off and at the moment this looks like a bit of consolidation here before it you know possibly makes another move we'll have to wait and see uh, but I'm 
I'm liking what I see from Wren. I'm liking what they're all about. And again, it had this big, you know, uh, pop off top uh, and, you know, came down. Uh, and again, I'm liking Wren. Unfortunately, the price itself, I did buy, you know, a little bit sort of up around here. So I've lost money on that. Uh, but again, I bought some sort of further back down here as well. And I'm, a, and I'm an investor, so I'm holding for the long term. This isn't a short term play for me. All right, and last but not least, and look, I do have other DeFi projects, but these are the ones I'm just more sort of into. Kyber Network. So I'm really uh, liking Kyber. Now, unfortunately, the price has not done so well. Uh, I invested uh, under a dollar, uh, which was good but I did invest some sort of up around here and then it just fell off and continues to come down. So that's disappointing that in the dollar value, uh, I'm not doing so well. But what I do like about Kyber is that I stake it and it pays me in ether. So my, my issue with that at the moment though is it's not on optimistic roll-ups or anything like that. So the gas fees at the moment are chewing up just about any of the uh, rewards that I'm making. I am still making rewards though, which is good, uh, but it's just tiny, tiny amounts. It'd be nice if, uh, you know, again, the gas fees weren't chewing it all up. But I am still bullish on Kyber. I like what the team's about. I like their, uh, you know, their roadmap and all the rest of it and what they plan on doing. And yeah, fan of Kyber Network. All right, so that's it from me. So basically this is all about is don't go to sleep on DeFi. I think it has a really bright future. I do think it's gonna get institutional money pour into it uh, later on. Uh, and look, retail FOMO will come in as well. And if you now start to put hundreds of billions of dollars, you know, into not any one project. I'm not saying Kyber Network's gonna get 100 billion or Synthetics Network or Aave is gonna get, you know, like hundreds of billions of dollars put into it specifically, but spread across, spread across some of those, you know, blue chip uh, DeFi plays. I think the prices of these are going to absolutely skyrocket. Uh, and again, they're really gonna, people just won't be able to wrap their heads around it. I saw it in the last cycle. Uh, I was lucky enough that, you know, I got into some of these coins really late, like Verge. Uh, of all the things, people will probably laugh, but I got into Verge and it was one of my best performers uh, back in 2017. But that was, you know, that was early for me and unfortunately I didn't understand cycles. And again, I've spoken about it before. I turned a few hundred dollars into a couple of thousand dollars, uh, didn't sell and take profits and all the rest of it. And then I watched that couple of thousand dollars turn into around about 330, $350. But I held throughout the entire bear market and that $350 is now worth, I think just under $2,000. So uh, that shows you uh, simply by holding, uh, you know, you can still do all right, provided you're in good projects. Look, some projects will just die and disappear and go to nothing and then you lose everything but I've been lucky I put the money or you know the I put it into uh, some pretty good projects uh, a Kyber network was one of them uh, unfortunately it was at a higher price so I have lost uh, in my old holdings not my new well both my holdings at the moment are probably down a little bit I think I'll still be in profit in my uh, newer Kyber network stuff but the older stuff not so much but anyway don't go to sleep on DeFi. Keep your eyes open and you, you know, listening, you know, for what's coming up and what's happening with these projects. I really do think they are going to absolutely blow up in this next cycle, uh, and particularly in the alt, the alt season cycle that it's going to come. You know, projects are going up right now, and this is not even alt season. Wait until the real alt season kicks in, and things just again, things will go from eighty cents to $18, $20, maybe even a couple of hundred dollars. I'm not saying Kyber's gonna do it, I'm not saying Synthetics Network or Aave or Link or anything like that are going to do it. I just think this is the place where I wanna have some funds put because I believe that's what, you know, in my mind is going to happen, but I can't say it for sure. Please do your own research and make your mind up. All right, stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train and I'll see you next time.